Hey, how's it going YouTube? Brock Outdoors here with another car gadget review. Super excited to review this one here. We got an extra large cargo carrier for your hitch from Mockins. It's got the cargo carrying bag, cargo carrier, hitch mount, cargo straps, hitch pin lock, turning signals, brake lights. This is the real deal here. So come on in, let's unbox it and let's see what it's about. Mockins just launched this cargo carrier, and the great part is it comes with the tail lights included. Those lights connect to your car or truck via your standard four or seven pin hitch connection, and that's just going to handle your standard turning signals, brake lights, hazard lights, and so on. This product also comes with a 40 cubic foot Velcro and zipper locking bag that will ensure all of the contents inside that bag will stay dry and safe. This carrier is designed with a two inch raise for added ground clearance, which will really come in handy going on hills and speed bumps. The great part about Mockins is that they include everything you will need to get this product up and running. Power adapters, hitch stabilizer, side reflectors, hitch lock, buckle straps, ratchet straps, a license plate holder, and so much more. It's honestly pretty incredible what they included in this product. Let's go ahead and move on to the assembly. First thing we will want to do is take the cargo basket and flip it over so we have access to attach the main arm using four 10 millimeter by 70 millimeter bolts. Just an FYI for you, you will want to have a ratchet and wrench set handy for this build along with a Phillips screwdriver and wire strippers. Next up, we will take our connection plates that have the logo and we'll want to use the eight millimeter by 16 millimeter bolt set. Next, we will be attaching our hitch tube. We're going to do that using the 16 millimeter by 75 millimeter bolt and the pin clip set. 16, 16, 7 You'll wanna make sure you have the pins in this configuration for proper use. Now we can take the whole cargo basket and slide it into our hitch. And here is where we will make use of the included hitch locking pin. Up next, we're going to take the U-bolt set and the hitch stabilizer plate and attach it to our hitch, which will really help with road noise. Next, we're going to take our license plate bracket with the 8mm by 15mm bolt set and facet that down to the cargo basket. Now we can attach our license plate to that bracket using the 6mm by 25mm on the bottom of the license plate holder and the six millimeter by 15 millimeter bolts at the top of the license plate. Now we can see this ingenious feature of a flipping license plate that will allow us to display our license plate in both the upright and in use position. And now we're gonna go ahead and take care of our electrical with the tail lights. First thing we'll wanna do is start with the left side light, making sure that you're grabbing the connection wire that has the blue wire. We can fish that wire down the cage and across the cargo basket making use of this hollow tube at the bottom. Here you can see that it reaches towards the middle where we will make all of our electrical connections. And now we'll just want to repeat on the right side. Next we can take our hitch connection wire and fish that down the main arm. Next, we'll want to take our wire strippers and strip all the wires that you see here, twisting each connection to make sure that we have a solid connection between all our wires. Next, you want to make sure that you connect your wires in this pattern of twisting red to red, yellow to yellow, and leaving blue and orange separate. Now we can take our terminal connector and slipping our wires in, locking them in place. And the last bit here, we'll want to take our hitch connection wire and repeat the same stripping and twisting of the wire ends and connecting them in the other end of our terminal connector. 
Mockins even includes a roll of electrical tape, so we'll want to take that and completely wrap our electrical connections, finishing it off with our butt plate. You'll want to make sure that you do apply enough pressure when you're putting in the brake lights so that you pass this rubber seal that will lock the brake lights in from falling out. Now we can connect our hitch wire to our vehicle and give the lights a test. As you can see, the lights are very bright and will be very visible at night. And here I am showing how you can remove the pins and put it in its upright position, which is extremely useful. And thanks to that flip out license plate, we can drive this in this orientation without having to worry about blocking our license plate. And while you have it in this configuration, you'll want to be sure to stick on your side reflectors. And now I'm going to be loading up the cargo carrier with just about as many crates as I have on hand. I'm going to be using six large crates, which would definitely fill up your cargo cabin inside your car. So this is a great testament to what the capabilities of this cargo carrier is. You can see I'm also using some standard cargo gym bags, backpacks, some smaller bins, as well as a tent and a wagon. And we can go ahead and flip over the cover and zip it all shut with its heavy duty zipper and keep it all dry with its Velcro. Looks like we found some extra space, so we'll go ahead and shove in another backpack. Mockins includes a lock to keep your stuff secure, so thanks to them for doing that. Nice little touch. They also include all the tie downs and straps that you'll need, including pretty good quality ratchet straps, so I was impressed to see that included. It's definitely getting your best bang for your buck. And now we can see the cargo without the bag just so we can get the sheer amount of stuff that is being held in this cargo carrier. It is massive, but I think it looks absolutely awesome outside the Bronco. And there we have it. We are ready for the road wherever the road takes us. Now, luckily, I actually did have a real-world use case where I had to take all of these paint cans that you see here, heavy, a lot of paint cans, definitely don't want them in the car, and I was able to stuff up the cargo carrier, drive it down the road, and bring it to a recycling center. I'm happy to report the road noise was minimal, the cargo carrier performed excellently, and it was as easy as flipping it back up when I'm done. Let's go ahead and close out this video. Well, that just about does it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. I really like this product. I highly recommend you check out Mockins. They make some top of the line gear for your car. Really, I don't think there's anything like it out there. Um, if you are traveling, moving, you need space to move a big items, heavy items, tie them down, keep them waterproof. This is gonna be able to handle it. Beach chairs, luggage, boxes, you name it. This can do it. So. If you are interested, please check out the video link description. I will have a link to this product and their whole store down below. So be sure to check that out. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. You have a great day. Bye-bye.